Mm. Talk about Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. No uh, better person. We really don't have anything you, else Jesus. to talk about. Mm. Am I right? Yes, Amen. Amen. We don't have anything to talk about but Jesus. Amen. He knows all about our troubles. Amen. Each of us have our own set of trials and tribulations. Amen. But he's given us the Holy Spirit Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank to accompany us Thank while we're on this journey. Thank you, Lord. They have deal with those difficulties. Mm. He knows all about it. Yeah. Good morning, saints. Good morning, saints. It'd be good to be here. Yeah. In fact, yeah. it's good to be anywhere. Thank you, Lord. Yes, it is. Yeah. Good to be alive above the ground. Get there by yourself. Above the ground? Thank you, Lord. Well, I'm, I'm, let me say this. Some don't think so. <laughs> Some say, I wish I was dead. <laughs> but uh, I'm, 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 I'm glad that uh, uh, I'm saying most of us don't feel that way. Thank you, Lord. We're so glad we know Jesus. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thank you, and he's going to raise us from the ground. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We're on a series of uh, marriage and uh, divorce and all that, those things. Uh, I want to say this before I go any further. When I started this series, uh, actually, I didn't want to start. I really didn't. Mm. Me. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about Jesus. I'm talking about me. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we got to distinguish who's uh, in charge here. Mm -hmm. Am I right, Jay? Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. And if he wants something, mm -hmm. and if you're obedient to him, he can get that accomplished. But at the same time, when you begin to speak about marriage and all the the dynamics of marriage, you, you open a can of what? Worms. Well. No doubt about that. Yeah. And no one sermon or one coming together can in any way meet all those worms and kill them off. So we are actually doing a series on this, on marriage. And I have to say this, I to help you, I'm not a, a rookie here. I've been in this thing for 55 years. Mm -hmm. And we've seen some things, we've been through some things. Personally and collectively, the family. So with all that is, hopefully God will use my, our experience and our trials and our tribulations to help us to see how he is Lord of Lord and King of Kings. Uh, nothing is going to be answered today, I'm sure. Some things will be answered, but there's a lot more to being marriage, uh, divorce, adultery, fornication, lying, cheating, bitterness, anger, all that's involved with marriage. Because when God, when we got married, we were of, of the fallen nature. Mm -hmm. yeah. In line. When Adam and Eve got married, it was good. But eventually, the evil one slipped in. And wherefore, by one man, sent it into the whole world, and death by sin. So death passed upon all men. All have sinned. Right? Yes. Your neighbor, your husband, your wife, your grandpa, mm -hmm. your next door neighbor, your mailman, your grocery store clerk, everybody has sinned. And in many cases, still living in sin. Right now. Remember this. this. I'm going to read through some things here. Hopefully that will help us see a little bit. It's all about Jesus here. I don't have any personal input here. I don't have any personal gotcha. vendetta. I don't 
don't carry a grudge around. In my own marriage, and I want to throw that out at you. See, some people will have to give a definition of things, but to give it from their perspective and not from Jesus' perspective. Hopefully I stay on target. If I'm way in a little bit cluttered, get my attention and call me back. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. we thank you this morning for the opportunity to share with your people the thing that you desire this morning from this servant. Send the Holy Spirit. He's already here. May we surrender ourselves to him. That it might bring light and understanding and revelation Thank you, Lord. to any particular matter that is pressing our hearts. Forgive us of our many sins and trespasses and Please, cleanse our Father. hearts Please. right now from our righteous for Jesus' sake. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father. We love you. Mm -hmm. And I love you. I want to do those things that are pleasing mm -hmm. to you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you again for your mercy. Mm -hmm. Bless all the, the hearers that if I hear from you, speak to the heart. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 The, uh, the Pharisees here, as Jesus concluded speaking the, in the, in the uh, 18th chapter, verse 35 said, Likewise, shall your heavenly Father do also to you, if, if from your hearts forgive not everyone who is your or brother had trespass, trespass you. Now he said this, and I'm going into the, the, the uh, eight, 19th chapter, but that, that was the last thing he said, right? Let's read it again. Likewise shall your heavenly Father do also unto you, if you from your hearts will give not everyone <coughs> his brother <coughs> his trespasses. That was the last thing he said in that chapter. Then we moved into the 19th chapter. Actually, there were no chapters in the original. And Magistrates chapters were instituted by the writers here. And it came to pass, the 19th chapter of the book of Matthew, it came to pass that when Jesus had finished these sayings, he departed from Galilee and came into the into the borders of Judah beyond Jordan. And a great multitude followed him, and he healed them there. Healed them physically, and hopefully the Holy Spirit will show us that he can heal us spiritually. Most, I'm guilty of myself, we need healing of the spirit and of the soul. The spirit is one thing. That's why God born you again into the family of God by the spirit. The spirit ignites your spirit, your dead spirit, and makes it alive. And then he began to work on what? Soul. Your soul. You can be born again, but no work done to your soul at all. That's why there's so much misunderstanding about many things because the soul is trying to explain things. Mm -hmm. The soul is trying to get things right. And, mm -hmm. uh, the soul operates strictly from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The believer, on the other hand, inquires through the spirit. He wants to know what the spirit says to him in spite of what he sees or what he hears. Right now, fix it up. I hope you with me. Mm -hmm. We was talking to Craig this morning. There are two ways that we can receive information into our system. In the natural system, it comes through the, the flesh, well. the flesh and mind. In the spiritual system, it comes through the spirit. Mm. There are two things that operate in us: spirit and the flesh. True. Which one is operating? Which one are you leaning to? when you're trying to seek advice and understanding. Mm -hmm. It should be 
the spirit of Christ. Mm -hmm. If you're a believer. Mm -hmm. If you're not a believer, you are swayed somewhere else. If you are a carnal believer, uh -oh. you also wow. have this dilemma, uh, is that right? I, I don't think. Mm -hmm. you, 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 yes, in and out. You just, <laughs> absolutely. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Lord. And if that is the case, then you're never going to really be equal, like be balanced mm -hmm. in any sense you make. Mm -hmm. And that's why Jesus said, uh, Great multitude, Father, he healed them all. Now, here I think he's talking about physical and maybe even talking about spiritual. Most of the work Jesus did in the, in the New Testament, he did it physically, but it manifested his, his spirit of how he could handle things. Look at this. The Pharisees also Pharisees, the Pharisees also came under him testing. Uh, what you think about this? Mm. They, they, they didn't want the truth. Hello, they want to trap it. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. You got to see this. The Pharisees were the lawgivers. Yeah, just like with the woman in the daughter. Absolutely, yes, are, absolutely. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. This thing where they mm -hmm. they were the the programmers. They were the traditionists. They had upheld the mosaic system. Christ did too. But not in the sense they then. Because they wanted everything to revolve around them. Look here. Tested them, said unto him. Uh, is it lawful for a man to put away his wife for every cause? Test it. She mm -hmm. heard all the speech and all the preaching that Jesus had done and Satan had injected it into their minds. Let's trap it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got to see this. You got to see this. But of course, they didn't realize who they were dabbling with. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, <sighs> Thank you. The same principle applies with you as a believer. Mm -hmm. When the devil comes, don't you answer the door. Mm -hmm. Allow Christ to answer the door. Amen. Mm. Most of the time we answer the door with our own yeah. emotions. Thank you, Lord. Our emotions answer the door. If, if your emotions answer the door, then your emotions are in total control of your next decision. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So the Jewish law said you're stoned to death. And if you're stoned to death, then they answer to the Roman law of killing the man. So how did Jesus maneuver around these these crafty religious leaders. Mm, mm, mm. How do they get around it? Look what it says here. It's actually back up in verse 20, 35. Somebody read that loud for me. So, so also may Heavenly Father will do to you unless every one of you forgives his brother or sister from the heart. See? This is what Christ is saying. The Heavenly Father forgives you. Why are you still carrying this around? Hating people, disliking people, wanting to murder people. This is what I'm talking about here. You have to meet the devil on, on his ground in the spirit. Mm -hmm. You meet him in the flesh, you're dead. Mm -hmm. And it said, for this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave to his wife and they shall become one flesh. Mm -hmm. Whosoever, wherefore they are no more two, but one flesh. Well, therefore God had joined together, let no man put apart. This is what Jesus said. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Talking to that religious crowd. They want to find some legal or some cardinal grounds to deal with this, this divorce thing and this adultery thing. There is a 
I have a sheet here. How you deal with sin, and, uh, adultery, and fornication, and lying that may be going on or has gone on? What is the most important thing that we should be aware of here? Is God's kingdom. Your little feelings have been hurt. True. But God's kingdom is greater than your feelings. Mm. You enter into this matrimony, enter into this matrimony with another fallen creature. Mm. Now, many don't know this. When you get married, you think everything is just culture. Hey, we got it. We all right now. Right. But eventually, your old nature begins to show up. Tell us. Preach. Preach. Yes. You see? Now, if you nice little Christians, you're nice little Christians, you can put on a, a nice little show. But underlined in all, there's that old nature still kicking. Still raising his ugly head. Relentless in his pursuit. And mm -hmm. he's always mm -hmm. trying to yes, get somebody else straight. Yes, he does. And how can another sinner get another sinner straight? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, a sinner can do to another sinner if he knows Jesus, sinner to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Right? Any man come to Jesus, he can, he can have it. Mm -hmm. look, look at this. Now, here he said, and they say unto him, Why Moses then commanded to give in writing a bill of divorcement? And if that's true, if that's what God desired, mm -hmm. why did Moses resort to giving uh, those those husband and wives a bill of divorcement? And that's that's he's the, see the, the trying Jesus, the testing Jesus here. And Jesus told him, look what Jesus said. It is said, Moses, because of the what? Hardness of your heart. heart. Do we need to say more? Hmm. You don't forgive. You don't show mercy. Because institutions of marriage is more important than divorce. Mm -hmm. I'd rather still you stay together than divorce. Mm -hmm. Work it out. Look here. Moses gave you the, the because of the hardness of your heart. He permitted it. God didn't desire it, but he permitted it. God doesn't go against his word, but he, he goes, he, he permits certain things because of who we are, because of our nature, because of what we think, because of the way we raise up, because of what somebody said to us, because of the anger issue that we have against another person. Mm. So many times you have anger, and that anger just smothers there. It's still there, and you're hugging, and you're kissing, and you getting along. But the anger is still there. And every now and then, somebody set the anger flame. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. No doubt about yes, that. Yes, it's going to come out. That yeah. bitterness. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. We spoke about that a couple months ago about bitterness. Mm -hmm. It has a root. Yes, it mm -hmm. does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you feel it, continue to feel it, 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 it grows. Get to the point that I'm not even talking to my dear wife. Mm -hmm. And she wants to know what's wrong. She doesn't know that she's hurt me. So I just grab this grudge and carry it all around and, and look at her like she knows what has happened. Mm -hmm. Come on, Jane. Same thing that happened on the other, on the other hand. Mm -hmm. The husband could say something, or do something, or not do something, and she all of a sudden has this little grudging problem. Mm -hmm. Little get back problem. Mm -hmm. Gracious. Little anger issue, <laughs> mm -hmm. little little bit of bitterness, mm -hmm. and the longer you hold on to it, 
the more it grows. Yeah, it begins to take a root now. Yes. Oh my God, help us, Jesus. You see what I'm saying? That little, that little, that little bitter root. And Jesus, Moses gave it to you because God saw it. It would destroy everything. Why not forgive? And ask God to forgive you. So you can work it out. And God can work it out in you. You can't work it out. Oh, I'm going to a marriage counselor. Well, go to him or her or whatever. Because they got all kinds of it now. They got uh, uh, gender counselors. Mm. What? Mm. And the homosexual counselors, counselors and how to get along with each other, your partner. Mm -hmm. Just abandon the uh, concept of God's marriage mm -hmm. to a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. Now listen, I don't have anything personal against anybody. I'm just saying what God says here. Mm -hmm. God doesn't have anything personal against anybody. Mm -hmm. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him shall not curse, but have everlasting life. Come unto me, all ye that labor, and I will give you rest. You see what I'm saying? You, you let the spirit work its, 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 its thing this morning. And you'd be surprised how well he can fix something that you've been trying to fix for years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And you can't fix it. No doubt about mm -hmm. it. When you stop trying to fix it, God will come in and work it out. Thank you, Lord. I know that for a fact. Ooh. He'll fix it. Mm -hmm. And then it says that your hearts didn't permit. What? Forgiveness begins in your whole system. Uh oh. Now your whole system consists of your mind, body, and and soul. You got a soul in these bodies. When you receive Christ as your personal savior, you got Christ in you, who has energized the spirit. Quicken. You're quickening your spirit yes, so yes, you yes. can operate in the spirit and not necessarily in the soul. Mm -hmm. But where you choose, where most of the time we cho choose to cho choose to go is in the soul. Mm -hmm. The soul has all kinds of answers, yeah. and none of them are, are sufficient. Yeah. I will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do this. Yeah. I think this. I will in emotion. Yeah, I, I, that's it, Jay. Yes. Yeah. Well, if you just wait a little while mm -hmm. and allow the spirit to come in, and the spirit's not going to do a lot of shouting, it's going to give you one direct thing to do, and you do it. Mm -hmm. Why don't you forgive of it and, work it and let it work out? Leave it alone. Mm -hmm. Why don't you ask for forgiveness? Sometimes uh, you need to ask for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. but, but Jesus said, your heart heart here. Mm -hmm. So you'd rather go ahead and get a divorce mm -hmm. instead of asking for, for forgiveness. If there's something wrong. I don't know what's wrong. But I'm saying, this Jesus said, he's taking in this whole parameter of, of do's and don'ts. Mm -hmm. He didn't point anything out. He said, for the hardness of your heart. That's why Moses wrote the bill of divorcement. Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't be acted up with your children. The children had to see that mess you've been creating. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Let God speak. The children had to see that. They see that mom and dad has back on target. I ne I'm saying this, but I never seen my mom and dad fuss. I have, and this is not saying they were perfect. I know they weren't perfect. But if they fuss, they didn't fuss between in front of us. If they had any issues, they never brought them between us. But sometimes in these days and time, the purse cussing before the children, the children cussing, everybody in the house cussing. Everybody on TV cussing. Everybody on Instagram cussing. Everybody on YouTube cussing. TikTok cussing. And you think you get some peace around here? The devil has taken full authority mm -hmm. in that situation. There it is. There are certain things I won't look at. Not that they're detrimental to me, but I don't want Satan playing around in my 
mine. Mm -hmm. That's the battleground. That's true. That's, uh, I don't want any plant around my mind. Because he dropped a little seed here, mm -hmm. a little seed there, mm -hmm. and before you know it, you have changed completely over a period of seed dropping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. You're not the same person anymore. Oh, Say wow. that slipped in and dropped one cyanide pill here, mm -hmm. one poison pill here, Jesus. and before you know it, your whole per whole mindset has changed. Yeah. It's like you, you ain't like you used to be. When I am the same way I was yesterday. You're not. Because mm -hmm. Satan has poisoned your mind. He is a master at seed dropping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look here. And I say to you, whosoever shall put away his wife, except it be for fornication. Now there's a, now listen to this. You can put her away because of fornication. But you don't have to put her away. It's not God's intention. Right, Jay? Mm -hmm. Can you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Confession. Repentance. Forgiveness, reconciliation, reconciliation. Is always in order. Restoration is always first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If none of that works, then get the divorce. Mm -hmm. But you've done everything you can to reconcile to one another, mm -hmm. to forgive one another, to confess to one another. And see, pride is a is a, is a rascal here. Mm -hmm. First thing they stepped up to the door. I ain't saying, I ain't asked for nothing. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I don't care what he said, I ain't asked for nothing. Okay, well, Satan is behind pride. So he still has you at his disposal. Mm -hmm. And he can use you to further advance his kind of teaching and thought. Pass it on to the little ones, the children, the grandchildren. Cause why, why my grandma and granddad not get along? I don't never see them do nothing together. Satan is pumping his head all the time, Jay. He pumping all the time. You don't think that man is busy? He's a master deceiver. Mm -hmm. He's a master deceiver. Oh, mom, grandma and granddad don't never do nothing together. What? So you don't get that model yeah. that they can see. That oneness. That oneness, yeah. He's a master at deceiving and manipulating your mind. He uses little small things to create big issues. Look here. Again, he says, and say unto who's that was to put away the wife for fornication shall marry another committed adultery. And shall marry another committed who said will marry her who is put away commit adultery also. Putting away and married as adultery. It goes on all the time. Mm -hmm. But it still goes back to reconciling, confession, and restoration. Now we're going we're gonna to get into this next week about divorce. I just laid the grounds here for hope that we can see that God has a, something better and he can explain what all this is about. But again, let's go to the book of, of uh, First Corinthians, pretty quick. I think it's chapter seven, yeah. and I think it's verse uh, verse fifteen. Also, uh, before we go down, look down at uh, verse twelve because I think it's important on ch a chapter of this book because it's that for there are there are eunuchs. You know what a eunuch is? Mm -hmm. he's, a, he's one that's been castrated. A man that's been castrated, taking away his utensils, mm -hmm. who are born from their mother's womb. Now, Eunice, who just don't have all this, uh, something, they don't have any desire for anybody. Mm -hmm. They were made as units by men. They were units who have made themselves units for the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. Sake, he that is able to receive it, let him receive it. Mm -hmm. Now, Paul was a, was a unit. He had made a decision that he's going to walk on Mary. I'm thinking that Paul was married once. His, his wife probably left him. Because Paul was a Pharisee 
And one of the requirements of first is you had to have a wife. Do some research on that. But he never mentioned his wife. He mentioned his cousin. I think he let them down in a basket one time over in the walls of, of uh, uh, Jerusalem. But get back to this. A unit. Now go to Matthew, I mean, the Gospel of uh, 1 Corinthians chapters, ch chapter 7, verse 1, Sylvia. <laughs> I, I, I thank God for you, Sylvia. 15. 15. Jason, 15. Well, you said 15, you said 15. Let's do it. Let's go to verse 10. But listen, we're not going to get the full understanding unless we read from verse 7 down to verse 10. Mm -hmm. Because all of that opens up verse 10. Right? Mm -hmm. Now concerning things I wrote unto you unto, unto, for a man, uh, good for a man not to touch a woman. Right? Mm -hmm. Touch. Now he don't mean like shake mm -hmm. a hand or give a hug. Mm -hmm. But giving a hug might cause other problems too. Mm -hmm. You got to have open mind here. And you, you, you are the one to have control over your emotions. If you hurt somebody, you're hurting for the right reason. If you got to hurt for the right reason, don't hurt them. Because you're in trouble. Amen. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, this is good too. Let every man, let every man have his what? Oh, right. he, he didn't say his own part. Could be anything. Mm -hmm. From a monkey to a turtle. Mm -hmm. These days. Mm -hmm. Have her own husband and her own husband. And let every woman have her own husband. Alright? Well that's me and Claudia. Mm -hmm. We we chose to get married, so we got married. Right? I did a lot of stupid stuff before I got married, but I met her, and we got married. Still, a lot of stupid stuff went on then. I got to be honest. Nobody's vulnerable. Nobody exempt from any of these things. In your mind or physically, you've done it. You've been there. This is what Jesus is talking about, right? This is what he's talking about. He knows your mind. He knows you. Uh, I think there's a little song by the boy Morris Mitchell called uh, He Understands. When I heard that song, I was so glad that I have someone that understands me. Someone who knows me. My ups and downs, my hurts, my pains, my desires, my wishes, my, my crying, my tears, my anger, my frustration, uh, my desire. Someone that knows me. But have not sinned yet. Jesus will hear, but never sinned. So he's able to help me to make it through what I'm going through. Amen. You gotta understand that. Let the husband run into the wife, her due. And likewise, also the wife unto her husband. Whatever you re they require of you. And it will be required of him as husband and wife. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Whatever it is. Forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Understanding. Help him. Because she's a helpmate. Mm -hmm. Some men don't need helpmates. This, this is eunuchs. Who are self-made eunuchs. I don't need a helpmate. I can do the thing about myself. And he can because God has equipped him to do it by himself. For me, I, I need a help me. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many of you. And sometimes we enter into a, a marriage and we should never have entered into that marriage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And this is this is nothing this is nothing detrimental here. I'm saying we entered into it because everybody else got married, which could be get married to. Mm -hmm. Have you prayed about it? Mm -hmm. Have you sat with someone? Have you counseled? A pastor or some elder person who've been around a while, who've been through, say, have you sit with them and talk with them? You may have decided, uh, I don't think we're going to get married right now. 
<laughs> and uh, then look at the, the reason why you get married. <laughs> look at yourself. Let's think about it. Why did you get married? That may have a lot to do with what we're going through right this moment. Amen. Um, um, a thousand reasons why a person can get, get married to another person. <clears throat> Sometimes it's money. Sometimes it's prestige. Sometimes because she's beautiful. Sometimes because he's handsome. <laughs> you see, sometimes because you have you have big ideas about him and his potential and how he will be. Sometimes just as say I got I married him to show him off. I was married now. Yeah, yeah, I was married now. <laughs> I can't they hang with John no I'm married now. Married. Who you hanging with then? You ain't been hanging with him? Where you hanging out at? Story. That's what I'm saying about all of this. This is what Paul is saying here. And Paul has seen it all. And uh, I've been around, Jay been around for a while. We we seen some stuff. We heard some stuff. And we could pray all the time that we keep our head on straight. Mm -hmm. As a pastor, for 40 years, I've seen stuff. That stuff approached me. I had to keep my head on straight. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus first, then I belong to her. If I don't belong to him, anybody can help me. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. This is what he's talking about here. The hardness of your heart. Who do you belong to? Who do you belong to? You belong to the world? Belong to the system? Who do you belong to? You belong to Jesus. Jesus said, you love me? What? You love keep my commandments. You do what I asked you to do. Mm -hmm. He said, you seen me? You seen the Father. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Take a think about that. And this is this is something to we have to we get to the German seat of Christ about. I don't care how good a little Christian you've been, if you haven't looked at these issues, they will be brought up. Mm -hmm. Every man works shall be tried by fire to see what sort it is. Mm -hmm. If any man works shall burn, he shall suffer loss. If any man works shall survive, he shall get a reward. So it's all about that too. Where am I? The wife have not power. I'm getting a little, a little ahead of myself. But we're going out to verse 9. Then we'll pick up that next week. Uh, defraud. No, no, the wife have not power over her own body. Why? Because it belongs to the husband. Husband is saying, but the body belongs to the husband. Mm -hmm. And see, we get that out of our minds right now. Mm -hmm. Get that out of our minds. Suppose she's sick. Suppose she's in a wheelchair. Suppose I'm in a wheelchair. That have nothing to do with sex. If we get that out of our minds, we might be on a road to recovery. <laughs> but every time you think about something, it's all about sex. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with sex. Sex is good. Mm -hmm. But you can't let sex control your whole entire life. Every thought, every move you make has to do with sex. You're in trouble. God made man and woman to have sex. Mm -hmm. How are you gonna get cheery if you don't have sex? No, somebody. Oh, Josephine, you said the word cheery. That's something Glenn Allen. I know you. You know it's every cheer. Cheery. You see what I'm saying? It, it, it go further than that, but at the same time. Defraud not on one another, and consent for a time. Don't don't withhold anything from your husband. Don't withhold anything from your wife, except for a time. Mm -hmm. And there has to be a reason for that. Mm -hmm. And both parties must agree. Right. There you go, Jay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's, that's Keep the things on the even keel here. You see, you, 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 you're talking about a spiritual mm -hmm. marriage. Yes, Christ is the head of the marriage. He tells you, don't do anything without consent from the other. Mm -hmm. Don't be ashamed to say if there's something wrong. If you can't. But no, you can't cook. Well. You can't wash. <laughs> I'm going to leave you because you can't cook Mercy. and can't wash. Mercy. I can cook a head. I can go out of my clothes. Mm -hmm. Or go next door neighbor and they may fix me a plate. That's right. mm -hmm. But don't leave because of that. 
You didn't love her in the first place. That's right. You didn't love him in the first place. You just know you're, you're be, be marrying somebody. I guess I'll marry him. Right? Ain't nobody else out here right now. What kind of talk is that? He got a nice farm. He got a nice car. He got a lot of potential. Everybody else knows he got a lot of potential too. The other women looking at him know he got a lot of potential too. He ain't stopped looking at them yet. If a man ain't got his eye on Jesus, he's in trouble. If a woman ain't got his eye on Jesus, you're in trouble. Keep it out of the prize, your eyes on Jesus. He says, I will lead you and guide you where you should go. No, don't stop here. Don't dip here. Stay with me. If you, if you made a mistake in your marriage, ask God to forgive you. Get married for the wrong reason. I'm going to say this because most of you know about I got my wife. She got pregnant. Uh, she was about 15. And when I married her, this, my boy was four, four years old. But in, the, in my heart, I wanted her, but I just wasn't ready. Because mm -hmm. my natural man was actually out of his mind. Mm -hmm. One day there in Germany, all, all, <laughs> all my way back from the uh, Germany, I was flying in the plane. And uh, all of a sudden, her face showed up in the plane, right in, right in my face. Mm -hmm. I went back to my where my dad and mom. We I live I was where I was when I got back. I went told mom I said mom I'm gonna ask Claudia to marry me. She said oh, she, she's a what? <laughs> and she started crying. She really did. And I, I didn't understand what it was, mm -hmm. but she had probably been praying for my mm -hmm. stupid mm -hmm. self all the time. She didn't say anything. She just said, Well, you make sure you, you love her. I said, I do love her. I ain't know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I want my 21 years old. Mm -hmm. Who knows what they're talking about at 21? <laughs> All you know the sun go up, the sun go down. You look at hot water and cold water. <laughs> and Pepsi and chocolate. That's all you know. <laughs> and so we've been married uh, last Thursday. Well, it's Tuesday, 55 years. So we've seen things. Um, well, I think I mentioned before about our son has passed. Mm -hmm. My dad and mom has passed. My sister and her, her dad, and even though he wasn't there, he passed and her mom passed. And uh, God has been there for us. Mm -hmm. In fact, those incidents strengthened the marriage. So the weakening it, it strengthened it because Christ was there to supply us with what we needed at the time we needed it. Mm -hmm. Can you understand that? So divorces are, for as God is going to say, it's a last resort. Go through all this, boy, before you, before you come ask for a divorce. Take care of this first. Look at that first. Ain't nothing wrong with a marriage. Something wrong with you. The marriage is good. I, I first pre cleaned it was good. I set it on it. It's good because I, I made it good. But you guys... After Adam messed everything up. Mm -hmm. But I still love you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that, Lord. I still love you. Thank you, and you, Thank you for that, Lord. If you, if you have problems, uh, come to me and we can work it out. Amen. Isn't that good, Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. No matter how big it is, uh, I went to the cross, I took care of it. Mm -hmm. Ain't no problem I can't solve. Mm -hmm. you, Lord. Ain't nothing too big I can't handle. Hallelujah. If I handle death in the grave, I can handle that problem. Thank, That's you, right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank 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 you. He said, defraud one another, set the big tent. But I speak by permission, not by command. He said, I'm doing this out of my whole heart. I think I have the Holy Spirit. And you see, he mentioned that later on. Yeah, this, God didn't say this to me, but I have the Holy Spirit in me. Look what it says. For wood that you all wear were, were like me. You have no problem with, with wives. And he didn't mean it that way. 
I'm free to serve Christ yes, totally in the spirit. I'm free to serve him. But every man have his own proper gift of God, one to another a matter and another of that. Say therefore to the unmarried widow, it is good for you that you abide even as I stay single. Mm -hmm. But if you're burning, mm -hmm. find somebody that loves you and keep burning. For him. Yeah, for him. Amen. And for her. Mm -hmm. But if you cannot have self self control, mm -hmm. some men just hunters. Yes, sir. And there's day and time I see women just hunters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hunters. Don't flip the script. <laughs> let every man. Uh, but if you cannot control, let them marry for this murder, better to burn than to burn. Come with passion, mm -hmm. with this feeling I gotta have somebody. Mm -hmm. I'm getting ready now. I gotta go go, go find me somebody. Mm -hmm. You hear it all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm going out now. I'm looking. I'm looking for me somebody tonight. Mm -hmm. This passion. Uh -oh. Get you a get you a husband that God gave you. Yeah. You can stay at home. Won't get no trouble. Mm -hmm. And keep these coronary diseases down. Mm -hmm. And spread the other things down. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? God knew exactly what he did when he got the marriage together. Right. He just had these poor creatures who are trying to marry and be nice to one another. You can't be nice if Christ isn't in the niceness. You can be nice, but your niceness, behind that niceness, is something diabolical. Oh. Right? You, you do some good for somebody, and it's good. It, it looks good, but really behind it, there's something else. You, yeah, yeah. Something else you, you you want to do. Yeah, you beer, want. Yeah, that beer come and do. <laughs> <laughs> so you remember this. Mm -hmm. You remember who in, and you get him or her in a crossfire, and they got to do nothing but surrender. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, <laughs> don't get caught in the crossfire. Keep Jesus on your target, mm -hmm. and you'll be all right. Mm -hmm. Next week we'll pick up that on. Uh, verse 10, thank you. But the key here, and I hope you appreciate what, what God said to us this morning. All the questions I answered, they, they're not answered. There are many, many more things that need to be looked at. But uh, we'll do our best. Hopefully this just put things in perspective and uh, keep be humble, keep yourself open to the Spirit. And you'll be surprised at what the revelation will give you if you keep yourself humble. Don't be angry and sin not. Mm -hmm. You can get angry, but don't get don't be sinning here. You get angry at something, you, you have a divine anger. Man, I need to understand that. I don't care what they said. I don't care what he said. What somebody I ain't got nothing to do with that. Well, you on your own then, bro. Satan got you by the head. He dragged you in the way in one game. First thing you know, you may be in deep, deep trouble. They wind up in a solid home because Satan has sent you there because you won't give up and put aside those things that so easily beset us. Right. We'll pick that next, next week. Any, any questions? Any comments? I know that uh, 